John Brown annihilated my guitar and I let him. Here's the backstory. So Monuments was playing a show here in Rochester, New York, which is not too far from where I live. I never saw them live before, so I decided I would go. I was really psyched for it. And I bought the VIP package because it was only a few dollars more. And I'm like, that's going to be a great experience. Um, so I'm driving to the venue. I get there, downtown Rochester, and realize I'm a little bit late. So I, and I couldn't find parking. So I ended up parking in some ramp underground two city blocks away. For whatever reason, I thought to myself, I'm going to bring his new signature model. Maybe I'll have him autograph it, or I don't know, maybe he'll let me get up on stage during sound check and play with it because that was part of the VIP package. Uh, you get things like you get the t-shirt, you get the VIP pass, you get an autograph poster, everyone in the band signs it, and you get to hang out with them during sound check. <laughs> In some situations, when time permits, you actually get to play a song with them. You can jam out a song of theirs if there's time. But there wasn't any time, unfortunately, which is okay. You know, I didn't really care. But I had the guitar with me, but I was so late when I got there that I left it in the car. After they're done with sound check, they come down, they're talking to us, we're taking pictures, all that good stuff. And I got the opportunity to talk to John Brown one-on-one -on -one for like five minutes. So obviously I'm gonna talk to him about gear and stuff like that. So first thing I noticed when I looked at his rig on stage is that he didn't have the SLO 30s, which he's been raving about and playing with recently. And I asked him why, he said, well, he's got the UK version, the 240 volt version, so they're no good in the US. Um, so what he was playing for that night, or in the US tour actually, he was using Mesa Dual Rex. Still sounded amazing. Secondly, I noted that he had five different guitars up there, none of which was his new purple colored signature Schechter, which I've got here, did a video on this recently. Um, and I asked him, you know, you know, why don't you have the purple one? He had some other colors and this and that, uh, some other prototypes and stuff. He said, well, he didn't have any of his personal prototypes or his own guitars shipped to the US. So I, I guess Schechter just provides them for him locally while, he, while he's in the States for that leg of the tour. So he had five guitars up there, none, none were the purple one. There is a new finish and a new color, but I won't disclose any more than that because I don't think they've released that information yet. <laughs> So I said to him, I said, you know, John, I've got your guitar in my car. I just recently acquired it. Uh, it's in Dad Gad tuning, which is what he normally plays. Um, and it's got 1046 gauge strings, which is what he normally uses. He goes, really? I said, yeah. So, I mean, you're welcome to play it if you want. I'll go get it. He's like, well, I would, but I only use DiMarzio clip lock straps. I'm like, dude, that's what's on it. He's like, really? He goes, bring it in, put it up on stage. Maybe I'll play it. And the funny thing is, if you watched, or if you're gonna watch the PMT UK video where he does a rig rundown with Deegan, uh, you'll see the, the purple guitar there he's got, and it has the camo DiMarzio strap lock. Uh, and it's funny because I just happened to have a camo strap here at home that wasn't on a guitar. For, I had bought it for whatever reason. That's the only strap I had. And it was just sitting around until I got the, the purple guitar. And then I saw a video. I'm like, dude, that is crazy. I'm just going to put it on the guitar just like John Brown did for whatever reason. It looks really cool. So I brought the guitar up and he did end up playing it for one song. Actually, one of my favorite songs off the new album. And the song's called False Providence. Here's a clip of that now. <laughs> John Brown totally annihilated my guitar, and I liked it. And after the show, I talked to him for a couple more minutes. And, uh, you know, I was just so happy that he played it on stage, live, sweated on the guitar. It's now been blessed. It's been christened. And if I can ever hope to play half as good rhythms as he does ever in my life, I would be ecstatic. And after that, I thought to myself, I don't even need to have the guitar autographed at this point. That's better than an autograph right there. He played it, jammed on it, and it was killer.
when everything was done, people had cleared out, you know, after the kind of pictures and meet and greet and all that stuff. John goes back to the green room. He gets the case, he puts my guitar in it, zips it up backstage and brings it out to me. So then, you know, I say my goodbyes, I, I, I head home. I finally get back home and the next morning I open up the case and I realize the fret wrap is missing. As you probably have noticed, I use these Groove Gear fret wraps on all my guitars and they're all like color matched because I'm corny like that. But he had taken it off of the show and must have just left it somewhere else, didn't realize it wasn't his and just took it with him. So John Brown, if we ever meet again, and I hope that we do, uh, love you, man. The show is awesome, but you owe me a fret wrap. <laughs> Not really. Another funny thing, too, is I was thinking to myself, he's got these prototypes in the new color. It's the same guitar, just a different finish, different color. I'm like, man, I should ask him if he wants to trade. I'm sure he wouldn't have, but I should have asked anyways, because he did actually have the new color in a seven string version too, which had a big chip on the lower horn because he said at a recent show he had uh, nicked the cymbals on the uh, drum kit and it just took a big gouge out of the lower horn. And it looked kind of messed up, but I mean, I would have been happy to trade him for that because, you know, actually have one of his guitars that he'd been playing for a while in the new finish would have been really cool. So anyway, I am super happy that I have this guitar and th this is quickly becoming my favorite guitar right now. And I don't mean that just because I just saw Monuments and met John Brown. I don't mean that because it's my new, the newest guitar here at the home studio. I just absolutely love the feel, the sound. Everything about this thing, man. Uh, it looks amazing. It's like my favorite color. I don't think I would change anything about this guitar ever in the future. I can't I can't rave about this thing enough. And if you haven't already checked them out, good luck. They're back ordered. He couldn't even get a purple one, you know, as they come off the shelf. He couldn't get one in time for the tour. I mean, he's actually on the wait list uh, for his own signature model. He's got prototypes back at home, but he can't get the one off the shelf like you or I could buy. And uh, so hopefully they get back in stock real soon. I was lucky enough, I was fortunate enough to get this one uh, pretty quickly and it's gonna stick with me because I just love this thing. So yeah, the Monument Show was incredible and there was four or five opening acts. I lost count after a while. But the main opening act uh, for the Fallen Dreams went on stage just before them. They killed it. Their guitar player was Stay Metal Ray who was there, kind of the feature of the band, I guess you would say. And uh, he was still a little bit under the weather, he told me afterwards, but he just gave 100% and just blew it out of blew it out of the gates, man. They just, they sounded amazing. Uh, he rocked the house. It was a great time, but uh, it was a great show, great experience. It was just fun meeting the band. And all the guys in the band were super friendly, super nice. I mean, I'm nobody, right? It doesn't matter who I am, but they, they traded, they treated me like, I was somebody important. They would give it, they were giving you the time of day. They were talking to you. They were just chit-chatting and being so friendly and kind. And uh, they were just very authentic people. So I can't say enough about them. Monuments rocks. So glad I got to see the show. It was a ton of fun. The guitar kicks ass. Brown kicks ass. Stay Metal Ray kicks ass. Check him out too if you get to see him uh, on tour with any band. He's awesome. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. I just wanted to give you the backstory on what happened. John Brown annihilated my guitar. And I liked it. And I let him, and I would let him do it again. That doesn't even sound right. Anyways, until next video, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. See ya! We are monuments, and we are stoked to be here. Are you guys ready to have fun with us today? Yeah! All right. This first one's called Cardinal Red. Sing it if you know it! Oh, you're right out.